you need perfect calculation for this illustration. For this select grid perspective, along with it select rectangle shape. Select a brush, solid fill brush, and then select a color. The hex code of this color is 363837. Draw a rectangle. We need a perfect square. As you can see, it's not a perfect square. Reduce the number of column by 1 and make it 3 by 3. And then rotate it. If you rotate it, its symmetry breaks. To overcome this problem, rearrange it and then select the anchor transform. Rotate it symmetrically and you can see here its symmetry is intact. After it, confirm it. Now add a layer and then select a color. The hex code of this color is 848685. And then select a rectangle shape layer and tap on the layer above it. Draw a rectangle shape. And then tap on the stamp button. Now add a layer and then select a lighter color. The hex code of this color is C4, C4, C4. And then transform this shape next to it. Deselect the layer and select the anchor transform. And then tap on the stamp button. The shape will be duplicated. And then transform it perpendicularly. Confirm it. Again, select the anchor transform and then tap on stamp button. The shape will be duplicated and then rotate it and arrange it symmetrically. Now you can close the grid and rectangle tool by just tapping on the mini tool icon. Break up the monotony of the similar colors and fill different colors in different layers. Set the names of these layers as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that it must be clear to you that on which layer we are working. Select the layer number 2 and then tap on the layer number 4. And then erase the part of layer number 4. Deselect the layer. Select the layer number 3 and tap on the layer number 5. And then erase the part of layer number 5. Deselect the layer. Now arrange the layer number 1 on the top of the layers and then decrease the opacity of this layer and duplicate this layer. Now select anchor transform. Make it small and keep in mind that the edges of this rectangle should touch the pointed end of the triangular shape. Confirm it. Select the duplicated layer and then delete this layer. Now tap on the layer number 1 and then increase the opacity. Select an eraser and erase the selected part. Now deselect the layer. Select layer number 5. Tap on the layer number 1. Select the eraser and erase the smaller part. Deselect the layer. Select layer number 4. Tap on layer number 1. Erase the smaller part. Deselect the layer. 
Select layer number 3. Tap on layer number 1 and erase the smaller part. Deselect the layer. Select layer number 2. Tap on layer number 1 and erase the smaller part. Deselect a layer and this is done. Now add a clip layer over every structure layer. Now select a Mirando brush from Legacy folder. Select a black color. The size of Mirando brush is 135 pixel. The flow is 20% and increase softness to full. Tap on the clip layer of layer number 2. And then draw a shadow using Mirando brush. Tap on adjustments and then select a blur filter. This happens when I apply the blur filter. To overcome this problem, tap on the last layer and then add a layer, release its clipping mask and set it to the last layer. Now the problem is resolved. You can adjust the intensity of blur filter. I'll duplicate this filter layer and then arrange it above the clip layer of layer number 3. Now when you draw a shadow, your shadow would be smooth and fine. Again duplicate the filter layer. Arrange it above the clip layer of layer number 4. And your shadow would be automatically smoother. Again duplicate the filter layer and arrange it above the clip layer of layer number 5. Again duplicate the filter layer and arrange it above the clip layer of layer number 1. Now when you draw a shadow of layer number 1, you need to decrease the intensity of blur filter because this is the dark color to make it more realistic I'll add an add shadow to this for this you can add a layer above a filter layer and then you can add an add shadow. Now add this add shadow to all the layers. And this is done.